First, the global pandemic has put a lot of pressure on couples, and that's led to an uptick in divorce filings. We'll break down the marital issues and ways to work through them. We'll be right back. I hate this part right here. 40 is our time right now, and four months on lockdown has put a lot of pressure on many couples. So it's not surprising that more couples are actually filing for divorce. One recent high-profile couple calling it quits is Kelly Clarkson and her husband, Brandon Blackstock. Family law attorney and the Tracy Coates Show podcast host, Tracy Coates, is joining us this morning to discuss divorce and marital issues in the time of COVID-19. Good to see you, Tracy. Thanks so much for joining us today. Good morning. Wonderful to see you as well. Thanks for having me. So my question is, you know, is it right to say COVID is causing divorce or is it really perhaps bringing out underlying issues that were there and exacerbating the road to the courtroom perhaps? I think it's the latter. I think COVID, but specifically the quarantine has really made a lot of things worse for a lot of couples. And in a lot of ways, it's almost like throwing a match on their relationship. And some are continuing to add fuel to the fire and sort of watch it come burning down and ultimately deciding to get a divorce. And others are really taking the time to figure out to salvage their relationship and figure out what's going to work for, for their family. You know, I, I'm just, you know, they can't stand being together with each other that much. Are there any <laughs> issues that um, particularly related to COVID that are that are causing flashpoints for couples? I would say the biggest thing that I'm finding in my practice is couples risk tolerance to this new normal. And a really easy um, example of this is if you go out and you see some couples have masks on, some have the gloves, the other person just maybe has the mask on or nothing at all. That's really the simple um, example. But then there's a the more complex example when you're dealing particularly with children mm -hmm. and the custody schedule, whether in, in whether or not you're going to allow an exchange um, with another parent, whether you're going to send your child back to school in the fall, camp, all sorts of activities, things are really becoming a lot more difficult. And it's really up to those individual comfort levels. That's really creating a lot of tension in couples right now. Well, we have seen obviously that the, the coronavirus doesn't discriminate. Anybody can get it. <laughs> and so um, anybody can have troubles in their marriage. And we're seeing that with some celebrities. We mentioned, you know, Kelly Clarkson right off the top what can we glean from some of these celebrities that are in the same situation as we are you know, Kelly Clarkson is, is a great example. Her and her husband, Brandon Blackstock, have decided to file for divorce. And prior to uh, the uh, COVID pandemic, they were having issues, admittedly, in their marriage. And they decided to sort of go off in their one-room cabin out on the ranch, which in some cases with your kids might have been one issue in itself. But it really made things worse. And we're also finding that, you know, everybody is talking about Jada and Will Smith and her confirmation of an affair that she had four and a half years ago with August Sosina. And while some people are thinking that was four and a half years ago, you know, and part of it, we want to know it's Will and Jada. But the other fact that makes it really relevant today is the fact that people are really taking this time to figure out what strengthens that foundation that the relationships are built on anyway. And I love, and I'll paraphrase the quote that Jada said, is that a lot of relationships is, is trying to find a deeper sense of love is really forged in fire. And that fire right now is COVID-19. Well, you know what? And I will uh, paraphrase what Will said. What I loved so much in their table talk was that he said, you know, there's something about knowing that the someone you're with is going to stick with you no matter what. But you have to go through the no matter what, right? And so in, in, exactly. in their instance, maybe it was a different issue, but a lot of the no matter what's for many couple is this pandemic. It is. It's bringing up a lot of those issues that you may not have to dealt with before. Um, you know, if the pandemic lasted maybe two, three, even four weeks, maybe people would have been able to get by in a little roll bump without having to really examine their relationships. But we're going on four months of this constant lockdown at different phases, and it is really bringing up a lot of issues for couples. Tracy, I know we don't have much time, but I just want to get one tip in, if we can, for couples that are going to go ahead and go through the divorce and they're trying to start that process during this time. I know you have a list of tips there, but the courts aren't open. I mean, how do you even begin or negotiate to go through this? 
You know, the courts are still not open fully to the public. And so one of the things I really would stress is for people to be flexible, to communicate, and to figure out alternative ways to go through the divorce process in terms of settling their issues. I mean, right now, as you mentioned, the courts, when they do fully open, are going to be completely backlogged. And so people really need to be open to um, some alternative forms of resolution. And get a good lawyer. Tracy. And get a good lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll end on that note. I'm here. <laughs> she's available. Look her up. Tracy Coach. she's a good one. Thank you so much for your advice. There's all her information on the screen there if you do indeed uh, want to check her out. Thanks, Tracy. We'll see you again soon.